opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The perk defense begins with d6, controlling the e5 square and preparing for nf6. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up the dark square bishop. nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. nc3 defends the e4 pawn. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. b2 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f3 and prepares castling. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. c6 controls the d5 and b5 squares and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. h3 controls g4 and prevents a black bishop or knight from reaching that square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is best. This ignores a better way to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is excellent. This kicks an opposing rook. It is good. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is a mistake. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This wins material. It is good. This misses a great but hard to find move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This is the only good move. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. It is a great move. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. 
there was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This threatens to push a past pawn towards promotion. It is best. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This pushes a past pawn. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This wins a knight. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is a great move. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a miss. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to move a rook to safety. It is a miss. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks a better way to block a check from the opposing queen. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is brilliant. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the way to win a knight. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.